Four years ago, we crafted the mantra, True to Atlanta. And the idea has been an incredible lens for us to look through and address our business. Our building will open in 52 days from today. And it features True to Atlanta icons, like Killer Mike Swag Shop, the first barber shop ever open inside a sports arena. Zach Brown, another huge Atlanta artist, is building his 20,000 square foot social club. Antico Pizza, JR Cricket's wings, which were memorialized in the show Atlanta. Old Lady Gang, Top Golf, and more will all resonate because all of them are true to Atlanta. Now, we believe that we now have a building partner in State Farm who it epitomizes what true to Atlanta means. When we met with the management of State Farm, and thank you all for being here, um, it was obvious that their significant investment in Atlanta, combined with their values of being a force of good in communities they serve, makes them true to Atlanta and a perfect partner for us to make this city better. I would like to thank Phillips for 19 years of partnership, and I also want to thank Mayor Bottoms, not only for her leadership of our city, but also all the work that she has done to help us with our Atlanta transformation, arena transformation. Without her, we wouldn't be 52 days for our dream being fulfilled. I also want to thank Optimum Sports, who has done an incredible job, led by Dale Song and Amy Adelbush, as our partners and emissaries in putting this relationship together and bringing this idea to fruition. And I also want to thank our team, all of the collaborators and contributors at our company. The Hawks and State Farm work together to make this day possible. And on our side, we were led by Michael Drake, Jennifer Evans, and our Chief Revenue Officer, Andrew Saltzman. Andrew, come on up here. Michael. Two, one. Thomas, we're in downtown Atlanta right now, and I'm right right in the mix with the man of the hour, the owner of the Atlanta Hawks, Mr. Tony Russell. How you feeling today, sir? I'm feeling better today than I did yesterday, I gotta say. Really good. We're excited about this. Now, a big announcement was just made. It will no longer be Phillips Arena as we move into a ne the next generation and a new phase in the Atlanta Hawks franchise. It'll now be State Farm Arena. Talk to me about the process and how you narrowed it down to partner, to partner with State Farm. Well, let's face it, what we're doing here is building for the future. And we were looking for a partner that would be as committed to the community, to Metro Atlanta, as we are. And we found one in State Farm. So we couldn't be more delighted. You know, there are some naming partners that are uh, just naming partners. Uh, we were looking for more. And in State Farm, we got pretty lucky. So we feel great. Uh, we know we have a partner in really communicating to the community and being a part of the community. So we couldn't be more delighted. We'll have some pretty good stuff here in the arena. I'm quite sure we'll have some pretty good stuff here. It's already a great lineup that'll kick off. Jermaine Dupri will be coming here in town before the Mavericks actually come here you to bet. take on our Hawks in October. With all the new en entities that'll be in Phillips Arena, what are you looking forward to the most? Well, let's face it. As I said, uh, building a new practice facility, redoing the arena, building a G League facility, uh, building courts around Atlanta. That's all exciting. But what I want the most, I want a championship. You know? <laughs> so we're not ready for that today. But we're going to be contenders, and that's what we're focused on, because all that stuff I described to you is great. But without a championship, it's just average. As you mentioned, we love the passion that you're bringing in winning a championship. That's something very new here in Atlanta, and the sports culture is growing here in Atlanta. With picks no like Trey Young, bringing in veterans like Vince Carter, what are your expectations for the team this season? Well, our expectations is that we're going to have a lot of uh, young players and some veteran players, and they have to get used to one another. So I'm hoping that we get better as the season goes on. Uh, we're looking to be competitive every night. We're looking to play hard every night. We're 
we're looking to be a spectacular defensive team uh, with effort. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, as they say, I'm, I'm trying to walk before I run. Uh, but we're looking for a competitive, exciting team on the court every game. Before the Super Bowl, uh, we'll, we'll come to town in about a couple months. It'll be here in February. Do you plan on having any, any festivities hosted here at the new State Farm Arena? Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of uh, festivities going on, uh, both pre- and post-opening. Okay. Got a heck of a number of shows as well, but uh, all the dates and times a uh, little bit over my pay grade. Uh, <laughs> but it's a pretty exciting setup we have. I'm not sure how many concerts and shows we have set up already, but it's going to be uh, literally starting, uh, I guess, October 20th. It's going to be uh, busy times and exciting. Thank you for everything you're doing here in the city.